So in the second example where a computer can find things that humans used to hunt and peck for across imagery or out in the field, if you will, that that's that jumps out as pretty intuitive to me as a great accelerator uh, for business. But I, if you go back to your first example of things like store location, help us understand how a concept like GeoAI accelerates or improves the process, which has been done for a long time with spatial technology, looking at you know variables and demographics to figure out where to best locate a store or locate a supply chain. So um, one of the things that has really um, increased the power of what we can do there is human movement data that gives us a lot more location information and in large volumes where we can really start to understand patterns. And the geospatial component gives us a way to look at these problems um, and, and that combined with increased computing capacity in ways that we just couldn't do uh, do so before. Um, so, you know, things that I've seen with customers is, is these traditional approaches to things like trade area delineation or site selection where they, they uh, presume these drive time polygons or maybe a simple buffer around their stores. And there's this very store centric approach. And what we've done is uh, we flipped that and we've looked at the customer's perspective and we look at what choices are available to the customer. There must have been some really interesting aha moments where somebody had a design in their mind of where you know we'll put a store here, we'll put a store there, we'll change our territories this way. And then they saw the output from this different kind of modeling and simulation. And it was just like a aha situation. Can you give any examples of that? Yeah, I mean, we've had um, we've had customers with those moments where they um, there, there were markets that they hadn't really gone into. And so with some of the analysis we did, we identified where there was strong market demand according to this movement data, but they didn't have a strong store presence. And um, there was one in particular, they said, well, the reason we're not there is because the incomes are higher in that area. It's a more affluent area and our customers tend to have lower income. And when we looked at the modeling and we looked at, at these models that didn't have those geographic boundaries, then we saw that the, um, the impact of that variable income on the predicted sales was insignificant. And this was a big aha moment for them. They said, whoa, this is a game changer because this could change our entire strategy.